Hi, this is Mike Haver. Thanks for asking me, should I post bail or guarantee bond for someone else? Be it for yourself or another, whenever you post bail or guarantee bond, you are literally putting your own assets, be them cash money, personal property, or an equitable interest in real property on the hook. And by doing so, you're necessarily exposing your own assets to the possibility of a streacher or forfeiture or loss. It's not quite the same thing as going into a casino and choosing to gamble some amount of your own money on the chance that you're going to enrich yourself. But when it comes to posting bail or to guaranteeing bond for someone else, it's also not that far off. The whole point of bail is to ensure that the accused will appear in court and that while he or she is out on bail, society will be safe, meaning the accused won't commit any other crime and will abide by all terms and conditions of his or her pretrial release. When you risk your own assets for yourself, that's one thing. But many folks can't even control their own behavior. So how can one hope to be managers or control the action of someone else? When it comes to posting bond for another person, unless you're around that person 24-7, 365, you can't guarantee what they will or won't do, where they will or won't go, who they will or won't associate with, and what decisions they will or won't make. Still, what remains constant is that your assets are going to be the ones that are on the line. So the question that you should be asking yourself before you either post bail or guarantee bond for someone else is this. Do I sufficiently trust this person not to make any bad decisions which would jeopardize my assets? And only you can answer that question. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.